Greetings Earthlings, I am Alienware. I am Alienware. Plug me in to go. Ooh. Limit, the power limit, the core clock, AUD a day. So It is my friend. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're checking out whew, this massive box. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. All right, this is the Alienware R12 Intel 11th Gen RTX 3080. Actually, I got this computer because the price of this computer was actually cheaper than the RTX 3080 brand new. What is going on in the world? So, I got this guy from eBay, from the official Dell store. They were having amazing offers. I'm talking about like 20% 20, 20 off, cash back, all this kind of amazing promos. I tried originally ordering it from the Dell website directly. And the Dell website, in case you don't know, is a big, massive con. I'm serious. If you try ordering the high spec model of this unit. Well, firstly, it's a maze, but if you try ordering a high spec model of this unit, it actually is more expensive than if you pick the low spec model and select the upgrade to make it equal as the higher spec version. Seriously, the same computers side by side, more expensive. What a con the Dell website is. Anyway, I got it from Dell, eBay, and it was cheaper, all that kind of stuff. The box looks impressive. I am excited about the system and I'm not excited. I was speaking to Tally Ho in the comments and he was telling me that it is noisy. Now this is liquid cooled, liquid cooled processor. So I'm hoping it's not noisy. It's the keyboard that you get. Wired gaming keyboard. Oh, oh, it's very simple and plain. Some of those big black keyboards. Good thing about it is there is no tram stamps on it. So I do like that. You also get a mouse. And it's not a gaming mouse, it's just a standard Dell mouse. You get a power cord and uh, manuals. Don't worry about that stuff later. Alright, aim us out of the system. There it is. This is the Alienware R12 RTX 3080. Now, in the pictures, it does look small, but in real life, it is kind of a big, beefy monster. It looks kind of like they've gone pretty much for the non iMac design cues. They tried making it like a, a supercar, super duper car, rather than, uh, yeah, one of those kind of computers. One thing I do not like about this Alienware is that upgradability. Because it is a tiny mobile board that they're using, you're probably gonna be like in the Mac Pro Apple situation where you can upgrade a processor and the components on the motherboard, but the motherboard itself, because it is fused to this case, well, not fused, you can't screw it, but it's very specific to this case, you're not gonna be able to upgrade that. It looks nice, beautiful, lots of ports. One thing I do not like, it's only a two and a half gig ethernet connection, and there's not enough USB-Cs, but that is the RTX 3080. And to open it up, there's a screw. We'll open it up, but I wanna make sure that it fully works. Very plasticky. Looks weird, looks big, but let's see how it performs. Mm. Ah, there you go, your new home. It's a big beast, isn't it? All right, let's plug it in. All right, we're all set up. I'm dreading this moment because I don't want the fans to go crazy, but I'm officially on my Mac. I'm saying goodbye to the Mac. I think the future of Mac is not the way I go. So I'm switching over to the supercars of computers. It's like you're sitting next to a quiet air conditioning unit. Pretty pathetic, considering that it's meant to be cool, quiet, liquid cooled. The keyboard feels nice and spongy to use, it's just straight up off the bat. And the mouse does feel nice. This is the standard Dell keyboard or mouse. I checked the description. It doesn't come with the Alienware by default. You have to pay like hundreds of dollars extra for that. But this one feels nice and nice to use, I gotta say. Disable, 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 disable. Stop spying on me. That's right. Alienware logo it is noisy. It's not super quiet. I'll see if there's settings to disable that. I want it to run whisper quiet like it says. But the good thing about desktops, you can kind of like shelter it in place 
and just have a long cable away from it. So I guess I'm not too fussed about the noise. It's not like a laptop where it has to be right next to you. So say it goes, stable, diagnostic data. Why does every company want to spy on you? That's pretty cool. You can completely customize the colors of this. Kind of don't want to save it. That's all right, isn't it? Look at that. It's pretty sweet. Okay, that's a bit of a fruity. There you go. I've turned the Alienware into an iMac, except it's better because it looks still kind of fancy. And temperature, voltage, usage, temperature, voltage, usage, RTX 3080. GPU mining. I'm going to make some money on Bitcoin. You get to choose the thermal limit, the power limit, the core clock. You get to customize it a bit. That's pretty nice. I like that. All right, so now it's Fan Noise City because I'm actually mining Bitcoin. I'm getting, I'm getting $20 Australian dollars net, net profit a day on mining on this system. And that's not even the gist of it. I was getting $35 a day a couple of hours earlier. I've been tweaking with the settings. And of course, it depends on how many miners are out there, how many people are mining and the current Bitcoin value price. It just shot down 5K today, just recently. But yeah, $19, 19 AUD a day. So the hash rate efficiency I'm getting is 422. And what's cool is inside Alienware, they've got a command center. So you can actually customize the power levels. And I've set my power level of the GPU to 60% its maximum. Cause I found that when it's 100%, it does mine more, it gets a lot more going, but the efficiency is a lot reduced. And this fan noise city mode is, is pretty, pretty loud. But if I reduce the power level to 55, I'll just do it right now as a demonstration the fans quieten down so it isn't as crazy as it is. The hash rate does go down. So as you can see, if you give it a little bit, it's dropped from 78 mega hashes a second to 75, 74.45, but the fan noise is ramping down. Kinda like it, 55%. So that means hopefully my graphics card won't be butchered. And of course, when you get it with Dell, you can get actual accidental damage warranty. But what is even cooler is, so you can actually game at 60 frames a second, 4K resolution, ultra settings, the maximum this game will give me. And you can be mining a bit on the side. Obviously my hash rate has gone down completely, but you can just have it running in the background and at 55% power mode, this is 55% by the way, 55% 4K, 6 frames a second, ultra resolution, mining on the side. It's uh, pretty quiet. It's not super loud. It's not super silent like the M1 Max, but it's Pretty good, I gotta say I'm very impressed. I thought, because considering this machine costs the same amount as a full fat RTX 3080, that the RTX 3080 in here would be rubbish. It would be not efficient, but I'm smashing it. I was getting up to $35 a day, smashed it. I was expecting seven. I'm getting right now $20 if I quit out of this game. So this is actually a console that prints money. Guys. I'm gonna have to go out there and buy me some more. This is crazy. But of course, you know, at your own risks because you know, this kind of like cryptocurrency stuff, sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. You know, it's, I guess there's a money back guarantee, but sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. But let me know what kind of systems you guys are using out there in the world. Is this truly a money printing machine? Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Now time to- Did someone say printing money? Gucci bag, here I come. Yes. I love you so much, my darling. <laughs> limit, the power limit, the core clock, AUD a day. So the hash. It is my friend Ooh. buy now buy now buy now link in the description below don't forget to subscribe subscribe like and share yuck yeah why why until why